we got that one. I was looking for clothing to go on vacation with because I wanted to wear something new. And uh, I wasn't able to get that here, so I had to go online. And I purchased a piece of clothing online. It came and it was too small. Well, I had to drive 30 minutes at the time to return that item. And that was the deal breaker for me. I was like, we need a store where gentlemen can go and make sure it fits because some brands are true to size and some brands are not. Hi, I'm Chelsea Maynard. And I'm Christopher Maynard. And we're the owners of Daniel Dean's Men's Clothing Store in Murfreesboro, Illinois. We're a small town store, but we're competing with the big box brands. Uh, we're bringing stuff to the area that usually not found in the area. Our competition is feed stores and your local uh, super centers. So when you want to try on a different clothing, it's not in one of those stores. You come to Daniel Dean's and we'll take care of you. And it's nice too, being a veteran owned company. Um, we have a lot of veterans, which this kind of shocked me. Um, my husband being the veteran, you know, there's a different definition between a veteran owned business and a civilian owned business. Veterans, they will come to the business. They, uh, I have them every day. They don't know what's in here, but they are coming here to support the veteran and the veteran's family. I did 14 years in the army, loved every year of it. Spent three tours in Iraq, 0304 for the initial invasion, in 05, 06, and 08, 09. Uh, I lost a lot of good friends. Um, more after with suicide and stuff like that, but military and my brothers and sisters mean a lot to me. So we're always out trying to help fellow veterans. We wouldn't have the freedom we have if it wasn't for the veterans. Our sign says veteran owned, and we're very proud of that because my fellow veterans and I we fought for our country and we would die for this country. So just letting my fellow veterans know that I'm a veteran and then also letting the community know this is veteran owned. We have to take care of our veterans. They took care of us. What I like the Illinois to know about owning a retail store is it's a struggle some days, but the, it's, it's a great thing to do in helping rebuild Illinois. You know, it you builds know, the community, it builds. It helps fill holes in our streets, it helps grow your community it just it's great to help people around you and you know and you also can make a living off of it i would like the politicians of illinois to know don't forget about us small people outside of chicago outside of chicago think about us smaller businesses smaller towns you know we need just as much help growing our communities as they do we might we might not have the votes that you need as, as chicago does but we got the heart and we're behind you Cash your coffee? Card. Oh, I love being a retailer just because every day I get to meet someone new, someone different. I get to hear their story. I get to tell them my story too and help them find something that makes them feel good about themselves. I like to be in retail because of my customers. Uh, I get to talk to them. I get to see them more often. And, and I get to help them find that outfit they're looking for that Friday, Saturday night or something like that. So. What I've learned from the military about owning a business is um, you got to stay calm, uh, constant chaos, and you got to take around care. All around you. Yeah. Especially the nights that weddings, tuxedos come in, and you got four or five guys trying to try on and also take care of customers. You have to, you have to move and communicate and move forward. If it wasn't for the customers, we wouldn't be here. And we get to know yeah. the customers. We I make have them a, feel like they're a part of our family, Daniel Dean's family. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we just have a store for, full of clothing if we don't take care of the customers. When people come in the store, they're always looking for Daniel Dean. Uh, Which is Daniel, nice because it keeps that name growing. Yeah. So Daniel Dean is my late father. Daniel Dean, there's not a stranger that would walk past him. And the apple didn't fall from the tree with his son and my son which is another Daniel. Yep, so we're honoring and keeping his memory alive with the store name. What is it about your father you really admired? He was my hero. <laughs> That's all you say. You think he'd be proud of this store? Most definitely. <laughs> you think it's crazy. He would think it was crazy because he always thought you had to work for somebody, you get the benefits and all that stuff. He, anytime I talked about being my own, business owner he's like no that's no you don't want to do that but I think he'd be proud after after seeing it all
week. Our retail.